To watch this video in Hindi, go to the settings and select Hindi audio. Namaskar. Welcome to Simply Fire Space. While few parts of the country are still cold, South India is already experiencing significant heat as summer arrives ahead of schedule. With temperature rising, it is essential to prepare our homes for the warmer months. Let's embrace the arrival of summer and ensure our living spaces are ready for the season. Let's begin. With the onset of summer, dust becomes a frequent visitor in our homes. In addition to the daily dusting routine, it is essential to regularly clean the windows and balcony doors. Mesh doors in particular tend to accumulate a significant amount of dirt. I tackle this by using a carpet brush to remove debris effectively. For cleaning window glass, I use a multi-purpose spray bottle that has served me well for almost 4 to 5 years. Attached to this bottle are a cleaning pad and squeegee, simplifying the process of window cleaning and ensuring a thorough job every time. With windows often left open during summer, a lot of dust finds its way into the house. So today I will deep clean my carpet also. Last I deep cleaned it at the time of Diwali. I will start by vacuuming it thoroughly. Then I will use my trusty carpet and upholstery cleaner which makes cleaning carpets, rugs and dining chairs a breeze right at home. I even made a demo and review video of this cleaner and if you are interested you can find the link in the description box. Recently I visited a nearby nursery and picked up some lovely succulents for the living room and flowering plants for the balcony. Personally I adore house plants and prefer using real ones to decorate my home. Additionally, I enjoy propagating a few plants from cuttings at home. I have plants that are low on maintenance and don't need everyday care or watering. I will be sharing a video soon on house plants. So if you are unsure about which plants are easy to grow indoors, this video will be helpful to you. Stay tuned for its release. Now moving to bedroom for some prep. With the weather warming up, it's time to wash and store away the comforters. Mine are made of cotton and can be easily machine washed. If you are washing comforters at home, opt for mild detergent and keep the RPM between 600 to 800. Additionally, I will be deep cleaning the wing chair in our bedroom since I have already taken out the carpet cleaner today. It can be hot in my city for about 15 to 20 days during the peak summers. And that is the time we may use air condition which otherwise stays off for rest of the year. Last year, I only used the AC for about 10 days so it is not too dirty. I have removed its filter and washed them. Usually a quick spray of water is sufficient to clean them well. After washing, I have left them out to dry. Additionally, I will be removing the floor rug and bathroom mat to give them a wash. I always keep extra rugs and mats washed and stored away. Once a set gets dirty, I replace them with the fresh one. Today I am planning to change the bed sheets. Light summer prints are perfect for this season. I bought this particular set from an exhibition during my trip to Wysak last year and I absolutely love it.
It also came with a light quilted doha which is just right for the season. With the bedroom now ready, the new bed sheet looks lovely. The AC filters have dried, so I will reinstall them. After washing and drying the comforter, I have packed it away in a blanket box for storage. Now let's head to the kitchen. Lately I have been able to set the curd normally, so I am putting the curd maker back in storage until winter. A bowl of fresh homemade curd is exactly what I crave in the afternoons. With the arrival of summer, I am no longer using the coffee machine. Today I will give it a thorough cleaning before storing it away. I have taken out all its removable parts and washed them meticulously. Once everything was dry, I reassembled the machine and put it into storage. Properly cleaning and maintaining your appliances ensure they last a long time. I will only bring it out again during the monsoon season. With the arrival of summer, the issue of ants become apparent. To tackle this, I am preparing a DIY solution. Simply take water in a spray bottle and add 15 to 20 drops of peppermint oil then mix it thoroughly. I am spraying this solution on the corners of the kitchen and on the sliding doors of the balcony where ants tend to appear. I stock up on Sattu during the summer months as it's a favorite and incredibly refreshing. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend giving it a go. Simply take two spoons of sattu or roasted gram flour and place them in a glass. Then add chopped onions, chilies and coriander leaves. Season with salt, black pepper, cumin powder and the juice of half a lemon. Then add water. Mix well and your delicious sattu drink is ready to enjoy. In winter, we tend to use special ingredients for certain recipes like makke ka atta, bajra and jawar flour and dry fruits. As we transition into summer, it is a good idea to take stock of our pantry and identify items we won't be using. Consuming these items sooner before the weather gets warmer helps prevent waste. For example, I plan to make rotis from makka flour and finish them off this week. Additionally, I have some jawar flour and figs on hand. So I'm considering making healthy and delicious laddus with them. As I'm making the laddus, I'm first soaking the dry figs in hot water. Then I'm taking 2 cups of jawar flour in a pan and dry roasting it until it's light brown. After that, I am adding some ghee to the same pan and frying the makhanas, dry nuts and gond. I 
I am grinding all these together until they are little coarsely ground. Next, I am adding this mixture to the roasted jowar flour along with roasted sesame seeds and raisins. Mixing everything well. Now I am grinding the soaked figs and adding this paste to the mixture. If figs are not available, you can use dates or jaggery powder as substitutes. Finally, I am adding a little hot ghee to the mixture to help bind the laddus. The mixture seems little less sweet to me, so I am adding a bit of jaggery powder. Now shaping the mixture into small laddus. With a bit of creativity, leftover pantry items were transformed into a delicious snack. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you all next week. And until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.